Hello traders, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and I would like to welcome you to another video for our weekly Renko forecast. I will start with USD Yen where we are already in as you can see and what I'm looking for is another opportunity to go long. Plenty of room till my next target. You can see here a very powerful trend line is already broken that's why we find uh, we try to find an opportunity to go long i'm expecting a retracement so i can trade according to our rules <clears throat> same on cad chf we are already in you can see a very powerful combination Again, plenty of room and actually I'm going for this area or even more. If you see what's happening here, that was a downtrend for like almost 3000 pips and it's over. Price was stuck in a range and actually I want to go long not only for this area but this area and then the whole picture. So keep an eye on <coughs> setup to go long. Can see itself looks promising, and of course, uh, every day we will monitor it in our live room. In Euro CHF, also we have a position going short, we have our win win scenario but we are short for a reason and a very good one. So now what we are expecting is another higher settings retracement to find another opportunity. As you already know, many of you can re-enter or not. But whatever, you see here that I have plenty of room. It's worth my time waiting for that retracement so I can gain some more room and re-enter or continue for 230 pips more to go. Remember what Nikos used to say, knowing when not to trade is also a very great strategy. On oil we have a very powerful movement. Oil has been going long for some time now you can see but the whole point is that oil now is entering this range and this range is 3000 pips so if you are already in on oil like we said in our uh, weekly results of course you stay in if you are not since i already have a higher high the only thing missing is another retracement. Keep a very close eye on oil to go long. It's worth your time. Knowing one not to trade is a perfect strategy. I will say it again and again and again until I have brainwashed you. On GBPCHF, as you can see, we want to go long. We already have a position running. We are in a range of almost 300 pips, but actually I'm not targeting again this area. I always go and look at the bigger picture, and the bigger picture, not many people have an idea what's happening. Look at this. We are talking about, even if you have a trend line like that from these peaks here, you can see that this is actually over. It's already broken. I have a combined retracement. And I'm not going for this area. This is my win-win scenario. I'm going for this area and then this area and then this area here. You see these double tops? You see here multiple. And what actually I'm doing is I'm going long with an APO of like 50, 60 pips and I going for thousands, in this case for three thousands. So again, only big institutions uh, look at 
that higher settings and that is why we do that also but as always we do create a win-win scenario quickly what does that mean we create stress free trades we create our cushions in quotes win-win scenario and then we leave our positions running like forever of course I cannot ignore Nasdaq here again you can see my crossovers I have the beginning of a really nice retracement and all I need is a retracement all the way down to my EMAs here and of course my preview support or resistance area in that case the, uh, you already know that I, I prefer the bigger the retracement the better but you see when price reaches this area I will have at least 350 pips to trade again in this case I will do what everybody hates wait so again we all these pairs we have positions running we have pending orders we will look them together and adjust our approaches every day thank you very much have a beautiful beautiful week and see you again on monday morning with our top down approach cheers everybody stay safe